Ooh, such a beautiful day today. Right on. Nice throw. Okay, good morning guys. I'm gonna show you how I make baked bags. This is the material I'm using. It's called Big Fix Baked Netting. This is actually the ProMed brand, but ProMed um, markets it under this um, particular product for us fishermen. It's the same thing, except that it is size one for fingers instead of size zero one, as it would be for ProMeds. So what I do, is I take some dental floss. You can use any kind of line, but I like dental floss because dental floss kind of cuts into itself. So I, I use that more. So what I do is you get roughly two inches worth. I make a double granny. Look at that. cuts in the, the knots almost cut into itself. I make another double granny. Okay, that's it. I cut cut the line. So this is what I end up with. I'm gonna end up with a kind of like a choo-choo train that like this. So what I'm gonna do is see you just cut cut it. Cut it and you just go down the line and you're doing that, right? So when you have this. You turn it inside out that's what you have so you put your bait in here get your hook cross thread the hook through the top here back and forth and it'll hold up like that that's how you make your bait bag all right and I'm using this material which is actually pro mids but it's marketed under this brand for us fishermen hey thanks man thank you guys Okay, just installed some shrimp out. Let's see. What we're gonna do, get my kitchen shears, put it about there. These are big shrimps. See the tail? Gonna use my uh, bag. Big bag and turn it inside out. Going to put the shrimp in it with the head pointed up. Okay. Looks pretty good. We're going to um, now we're gonna crisscross it. See? We just go back, forth, back, forth. Uh, gonna target some, try target some bonefish today. If we get some chivalis, it would be a nice bonus. Look at that. All done. That's what we're going to use today. Looks pretty good, yeah? Going to try some wired banks. These are banks with some um, wires in it. Reason being, I just had a hit. It dragged it across the sand, but it got lodged in the reef. And finally, I think the fish broke off because everything came back when out the fish. You, you can make the configuration whatever you want, there's no right or wrong way. But this is the way I prefer. Because when this is dragging back, look what happens. It gets caught. See that? 
He gets caught coming back. Seal up. That's what we want. We want it to get caught. Okay. The reef is breaking over there. It comes here, breaks about 50 feet off of here. And it goes over there where there's a huge channel. We're going to get this bait right behind the reef here. Just chuck it out there. Using my Shimano Okobra 10,000 50 pound test grade on a 13 tree Daiwa ballistic. Nice. Way past the edge there. Perfect. Here's the bait bag. Just brought it in. Look at There's nothing in it, but look. Look at that huge gaping hole. Something hit the side of the bait bag and tore it too because I saw the tip. The tip was shuddering, and that's probably what happened. So you can get my thumb in it. Something tore it out. Okay, when you take a bait bag off, you're going to have, you see right here is the hook and the barbs right there. Trying to pull this through, is you're going to rip up the bait bag. So what you do is when you pull it down here, you, you push it, you see this? You push this towards the shake of the hook, you push it in. So this will go over the barb. So watch this. Just like that. Simple. Alright, the lead is stuck on the reef. So what do you do? You don't want to pull it this way because you're going to break your tip or your guide, so you insert. So what you do, take it up your spool, and what I do is I put my hand on it and just hold it. And see how everything's lined up, everything's straight, right? The line, the guys, everything's straight. This is what you want to do, just hold on to this. Bring it so the line is down here, so see it's not hitting the top of the, uh, the uh, guide, it's down here, and just hold it like this. And when it breaks loose, just make sure that there, okay, there, go loose. I got a feeling that the lid snapped off because this is 50 pound test mainline braid. I'm using 25 pound test mono for my weight line so what I'm trying to do is I can make it so it breaks off when times like this happens which is what happened here see it broke off that sucker up. Hold him up over here. All right. 